Okay, here we are on explain two for lesson 13.1. We're going to use the tangent ratio to find a side length. And then we're also going to later use um, the tangent ratio to find the missing angle. So remember, using these uh, trigonometric ratios, we can pretty much use them to find missing pieces for, for any right triangle in, in the case of the problems that we're dealing with. Um, now this is a really good picture right here of what we're going to be doing. You kind of have to treat um, these tangent ratios, I, I mean they are essentially functions, um, but you treat them as functions where when, when, you, um, when you take an, an angle that you know, you plug it in and you can use it to find the ratio of the sides. And, the, and again, in the case of the tangent functions, the ratio that we're working with, remember, is the opposite, opposite over the adjacent. Meaning, it's the ratio of the opposite side compared to the adjacent side. And so, uh, I'm, you know, as usual, I'm going to let you read the explain uh, examples on your own. We're going to jump straight into the your turn questions here and we're actually going to use the Desmos calculator to to do it so let me pull it up real quick okay so we're going to use the Desmos calculator to calculate these uh, trig ratios here and in, in this case the uh, tangent ratio so let's take a look at the question and figure out what we know and what we don't know so uh, the context of this question is that we have a ladder and it needs to reach the second story window which is 10 feet above the ground um, and so here's here's this ladder right this is the ladder it's 10 feet above the ground and uh, the windows are right up here here's my terrible drawing of a window and we're gonna make a 70 degree angle right so essentially we're gonna find we're gonna we're looking for the length YZ in this case how far is the ladder from the wall and so um, what we're going to do is we're going to plug this angle into the tangent uh, ratio. So here's the setup of the question if you didn't understand how to do it from the example problems. You're, you're basically looking for the tangent of the angle, which is 70, and it's going to equal the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent, which is tangent of 70 is going to equal, we know the opposite, right? The opposite is this 10 feet. What we don't know is the adjacent, the YZ. So we're going to call this X, which is what we're looking for. Now, um, I'm going to pop on over to the Desmos calculator real quick, and we're going to be looking for the tangent of 70. And one thing you want to do before you do anything is you want to make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Um, when you're using the Desmos calculator, just tap on this little uh, wrench in the top right corner and just make sure it's not in radians, but that it's in degrees. So, so the degrees should be highlighted green. And once you have that set, you're going to be looking for the tangent of 70. Now, in the Desmos calculators, the tangent function is hidden in this function tab right here uh, at the bottom. Uh, make sure you're at the trig section, not the stats, the distance, or the miscellaneous. Um, and we're going to tap on tangent, and we're going to type in 70, the tangent of 70. And you should see here that the tangent of 70 equals 2.747474. We're going to round that up to 2.75. Okay, we're going to go to the nearest hundredth. So the tangent of 70 is going to be 2.75-ish. That's going to equal 10 over x. So now it becomes just a, a, an algebra problem. We're going to, we need to get the x out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. We get 2.75x equals 10 because this cancels out. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2.75. And uh, what we're going to essentially get... Uh, I'm going to move up here because I'm running out of room. We, we should get x equals 10 over 2.75. So let's punch that into the calculator. Uh, we can just do that directly in decimals. 10 divided by 2.75. We should get 3.63. Uh, let's go to about 3. Point, let's round it up to 3.64, shall we? x equals, uh, it's not exactly equal, it's approximately 3.64. So... Uh, how far is the ladder positioned from the wall? Well, it's about 3.664 feet from the wall. So that's, that's our completed answer right there for your turn, question number one. Okay, we're going to do the 
basically the inverse in this explain three section we're going to be taking the uh, we're going to be taking the ratio to find the angle okay so you can again read the example on your own and once you've done that let's go ahead and jump into these questions here we're going to uh, we're given the side lengths in this case, and we're going to use that to find the missing angle. In this case, it's going to be angles J and K. The first one we're looking for is angle J. So in this case, uh, in, res in respect to um, angle J, so uh, the tangent, we're just going to call it the tangent of J is going to be uh, the opposite over the J. Or sorry, no, we're finding the missing angle. I'm doing the wrong thing here. Let me step that back here. So the, in order to find the angle, we're going to do the inverse tangent. The inverse tangent of the ratio, right, which is the opposite over the adjacent, is going to equal uh, the measure of angle J, right? So, well, what is the opposite and adjacent in, uh, in respect to angle J? Well, the opposite is 46. The adjacent is 93. So we're gonna this is what we're gonna write in. Tan inverse tangent of 46 over 93 equals angle J. So the nice thing about using Desmos is you can actually just punch that directly in there. Let me get rid of those. And so in the function tab, you should find the inverse tangent right there, and we're gonna type in 46 divided by 93 directly into there. And let me see here. Let me Go ahead and finish this off. We get 26.3. So angle J is approximately 26.3 degrees. That's what we end up with. Okay. We're going to do the same thing for angle K. Now let's not make the same mistake that I made earlier when we were doing your turn question number one in this uh, in this section here. Um, it's going to be the inverse tangent of the ratio, which again is the opposite over the adjacent. And that should be the measure of angle K. So in respect to K, what is the opposite and the adjacent? Well, the opposite is 93, and the adjacent is the 46. So inverse tangent, uh, opposite is 93, adjacent is 46. OK, and so let's punch that into the calculator once again. Inverse tangent of 93 divided by 46. And uh, we should get 63.68. Uh, well, let's just call it that. So angle K equals 63.68 degrees. So approximately 63.68 degrees.